Hello everyone. Welcome to YouTube channel of bspsolutions.com. My name is Sumit and the topic for today's video is how to apply multiple regression with categorical independent variables using analysis of covariance and COA. The quantitative methods of research focuses on establishing and analyzing the relationship between the independent and dependent variables in a data and data may also varies the degree of complexity with type of research design chosen interaction between different levels of independent variables and we can check it by using MANOA as well. So but however this may not be the case in every situation as uh, many times the several dependent variables may act in random when many of such variables are continuous impact on the dependent variables they are referred to as covariant. So basically ANCOVA is a linear model that blends ANOVA and linear regression together and ANCOVA is a study is a general linear model which used to blend the ANCOVA, ANOVA and regression together and it evaluates whether population uh, means of dependent variables we used to refer them DV are equal across level of a categorical independent variable we used to refer them IV and we often call them tre treatments. So either they set statistically controlling for effects of other continuous variables that are not of primary interest which we known as covariance or nuisance variables. Mathematically ANCOVA decomposes the variance into dependent variables into variance explained by the control covariance and explained by categorical independent variables and residual variance. And ANCOVA can be used to increase the statistical power. Statistical power means it is the ability to find a significant difference between groups when one exists by reducing the within group error variance. And in order to understand this, it is necessary to understand the test used to evaluate difference between group, the F test and F test is computed by dividing the explained variance between groups by the unexplained variance within the group and another use of ANCOVA is to adjust for pre-existing differences in non-equivalent groups. ANCOVA basically it is used to test the main and interaction effects of the factors while controlling for the effects of covariance. So for example, I have got this financial data set and I would like to know the effect between the revenue and gross profit within different regions. So we have three regions, APAC, Europe and North America and I would like to know if the revenue is increased, is if whether revenue is direct or gross profit is directly dependent on revenue or not. Or we can consider is vice versa whether if we if gross profit is increasing it means the revenue revenue might be increasing or not. So in this case we can consider revenue as a dependent variable and other variable as independent and covariance and we would like to find out the P value F value and the covariance using ANOVA or sorry ANCOVA functionality or ANCOVA method. So let's try to create a new file. I'm creating a new document or new uh, file in Python and the very first statement we need to include some libraries. So first of all I import import numpy as np and import pandas as 3d. So first of all, uh, I'm going to read the data set. So I write df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and this data set resides on my in my Python directory financial data one dot csv 
and uh, I'll just test it print df let's save it as and kova one dot py and you see the data has been loaded successfully and it reads all three data sets also i wanted to list all the headings so i write print list df so it lists me all headers we have all like all headings we have so we can use it or we can post it as a comment now uh, my requirement is i want to apply the status so i'm going to use the stats model functions and then we would be going to apply the encova on top of that so i'm importing couple couple of more libraries so scipy dot stats as stats import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt import stats models dot api as sm so we are using the ols method from stats model to find out the dependencies and the covariance variables and from stats models dot formula dot api import ols import stats models there are other packages i want to import that as well from stats models dot sandbox dot regression import prediction underscore standard so we can perform prediction as well i we can uh, predict the next upcoming sale or next upcoming revenue as well so prediction can also be placed and import c born as sns and i write sns dot set underscore style and i set is as dark grid let's test this much any library is missing or so now none of the libraries are missing we imported all the libraries now my next the next requirement is we need to find out the dependency between multiple variables so i write model is equal to ols and revenue will be dependent based on gross underscore profit plus region so it we need to we need to find out whether gross profit plus region it affects the revenue or not and i write data is equal to df dot fit uh, revenue oh spelling mistake it should be r e v e n u e and let's test it again no error and now i'm going to print the summary so i write model dot summary and let's execute the command and when we execute it you can see it we it gives a structure where we it gives a list where results where we have dependent vari variable is revenue model we are using ols model is status stats models and method we it's using least square method number of observation residuals df model so there are three variables included in modeling so we have a region and it would be calculating it for region so we have regions for europe north america and one other region 
and uh, intercept will be figured out and it also extract the p value so for intercept it's 0, 0.0 so p value is 0, 0.0 uh, it means that the slope is a perfect slope here the intercept is a perfect intercept perfect slope so let's move it to the next level and uh, i want to apply the ancoa function to find out its co covariance and the residuals so for that i write aov is equal to sm dot stats dot anova underscore lm model comma type is equal to 2 and i write print aov and you can see we are getting the result we got the output whether we have region and gross profit and the residuals residuals and their f value and their p value we got it from here p value that's the p value. now let's try to place it on a graph so i write figure is equal to plt dot figure fig size is equal to 20 comma 12 and figure is equal to sm dot graphics dot plot underscore so we are printing regression grid using modeling and will app so the model we created we extracted the model and it would be placed with figure and figure dot show and let's test it now when i execute it successfully it's giving us perfect slope when i execute it successfully it's giving me a perfect slope it indicates that the gross revenue is or you can so it, it would be vice versa that gross profit is directly dependent on revenue or revenue is dependent on gross profit and for others it also so they are it, they are close to the slope so in all the regions they are close to the slope so it indicates it's a, it creates a perfect slope for us and it's indicating that the dependent independent variables are uh, directly dependent on our dependent variables but still after getting this result and we are getting the perfect slope still one should continuously uh, one should continue by using multiple comparison techniques to determine how they differ and also need to check the residuals to determine whether the other assumptions are holding so that's all in this video if you have some queries you can come up with your questions you can post your questions in comment box thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye